World War II, among the fighting, the explosions, the death, there were spies, important components of the war effort, but sometimes these spies are forgotten. Sometimes these spies weren't sly men in tuxedos, they were women. This is a list of five forgotten female spies of World War II. Number 1. Christina Scarbeck Christina Scarbeck, also known as Christine Granville, was born on April 6, 1906, and died on June 15, 1952. She was a spy working under Winston Churchill in the Special Operations Executive, a secret organization that worked for Churchill throughout the entirety of World War II. Before becoming a spy, Scarbeck was working at a car dealership, but quit shortly after being exposed to the vehicle's fumes for too long. Upon hearing about the invasion of Poland, she immediately set out to England in order to volunteer as a spy for Britain. Through her husband, she met a journalist named Frederick Augustus Voigt and was introduced to the Secret Intelligence Service, which contained the SOE as a subdivision. She proposed a plan to ski from Hungary down into Nazi-occupied Poland, where she would pass intelligence and help rescue Polish resistant fighters who wanted to escape. After retiring, she died in 1952, when she was stabbed to death in a hotel by a jealous admirer. The legacy Christina Skarbek left behind is not as significant to the public as it should be. She is rumored to be the inspiration behind Vesper Lind from the James Bond franchise. However, Skarbek is not remembered as much as her. Number 2. Virginia Hall Virginia Hall was born in Baltimore, Maryland on April 8, 1906, and died of natural causes on July 8, 1982. Early on in her life, she attended multiple colleges and learned many languages such as French, German, and Italian. Virginia was able to land an appointment with the American Embassy to work as a consular service clerk in Warsaw, Poland. One day, she suffered a severe setback and accidentally shot herself in the leg while hunting which resulted in the amputation and replacement of her lower left leg with a wooden substitute named the Cuthbert. Later in August of 1941, she traveled to London and volunteered in Britain's Special Operation Executive. For around 15 months, she worked with the SOE by helping to build up the French Resistance, which was a small group of fighters that opposed the Nazis. The Resistance led hundreds of prisoners of war and innocent civilians. After she retired from the SOE, she joined the CIA. In 1945, Hall was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross by the U.S. military, Although she was recognized for her efforts, her fame was only momentary, and was soon forgotten as the years progressed. Number 3. Violet Chabot Violet Chabot, or Violet Reine Elizabeth Bushel, was born on June 26, 1921 in Paris, France, and died on February 5, 1945. She was the second oldest child out of her five other siblings. On August 21, 1940, she married a man named Etienne Chabot, who joined the war two years later. In 1942, she gave birth to her daughter named Tanya. In October, her husband was killed during the war. Moved by his death, she decided to join the Special Operations Executive. Her parents were taking care of Tanya at the time in Britson. In 1944, she finally finished her training, but was still struggling with coding her messages into poetry, which was used to transfer intelligence among the SOE agents. During one mission, she was captured by German soldiers that the SOE was unaware of. She was then sent to the concentration camp Ravensbrück, where she was executed by a firing squad. Number 4, Claire Phillips, also known as Clara Fuentes, was born in the state of Michigan on December 2, 1907, and died on May 22, 1960. Due to her job in musical stock, she traveled to the Philippines where she met her first husband, Manuel Fuentes. The two had a child together, but the marriage didn't last long and they divorced, resulting in her temporarily moving back to her home. Before the war had started, Claire had gone to the Philippines once more as a singer in a nightclub, meeting her second and final love, Sergeant John Phillips. During the invasion of the Philippines, Claire's husband was captured by the Japanese and sent to a prison camp where he would later die. Desperate for help, Claire agreed to join the forces, convinced by an American soldier named John Boone. This would lead to her running a gentleman's club called Club Subaki. Here she would gather data on the Japanese who visited the club. She was given the Medal of Freedom in 1951, but like Virginia Hall, her acknowledgement was inevitably overshadowed by other historical figures during the war. Number 5. Joan Bondurant Joan Bondurant was born on December 16, 1916, and died on September 12, 2006. Growing up, she demonstrated talent while playing the piano, and graduated from the University of Michigan with a musical degree. She then joined the United States Office of Strategic Services and was sent to New Delhi, India in 1944 to work as a spy. It was there in India where she met Gandhi and learned of his peaceful ways. After the war, she returned to school in the United States and received a degree in political science so she could publish Conquest of Violence, critically acclaimed book on Gandhi's political beliefs. Although she was remembered for this, few people today are aware that she served as a spy for the U.S. before becoming an author. These five women should be remembered just as much as all the men who sacrificed their lives for a great cause. But the sad truth is that these women may never get the light of attention that they deserve. Not all people who served and risked their lives are able to return home and spread their story, which is why they should be remembered rather than lost forever in history.